from Roberto Carlos. If you're a soccer enthusiast, you've known about Roberto Carlos for over a decade. While Ronaldinho and Ronaldo grab all the headlines, many consider Roberto Carlos's ball-striking ability to be among the best of all time. We call this one the improbable goal. Carlos getting there. Yes, he can. Oh, what a goal! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Okay, we've titled this play the improbable goal because so many ridiculous things happen. He scored it running at full speed with a bouncing ball across his body with an unnatural reverse spin on the ball. And oh yeah, it's also mathematically improbable for someone to score from that position on the pitch. So let's send it over to our lab guy, Simon Bennett, who will explain. Remember grade 10 math? Euclidean geometry proved that the three angles of a triangle must add to 180 degrees. Roberto Carlos was just over 29 meters from the far post and about 22 meters from the near post. The width of the net is 7.32 meters wide. Therefore, the angle of ABC is 178.906665254 degrees, giving him an angle of just 0 0.82038949 degrees to score. However, this calculation is not complete because we haven't factored in the goal yet, and that's what makes this goal impossible. Begged Anderson, the keeper for Tenerife, is six foot three, and his range is three meters to either side. So, if he literally just stood there and lifted one of his arms, all mathematical probabilities of a goal would have been eliminated. What else do you want to know? Roberto Carlos was running full speed toward a bouncing ball that was going out of play. Kicking a ball across your body with your left foot would naturally create a clockwise spin, spinning away from the net. Yet he still managed to put a counterclockwise spin on the ball, so it would bend toward the net. Now, I'm not going to bore you with Bernoulli's principle and the Magnus effect, but trust me, when you kick a ball with a nasty spin on it, it'll bend. Wind stream, conflicting air pressure, opposing velocity, drag, unbalanced force, blah, blah, blah. All these factors make the ball bend. So how did he do it? Easy. He kicked the inside of the ball with the outside of his left foot. Many players can do this, but Roberto Carlos did it running full speed with a bouncing ball. Difficult? Yes. Impossible? Almost. What else do you want to know? Roberto Carlos truly smoked that shot. He kicked the ball 29 meters in .93 seconds. That's 112.26 kilometers an hour. Because the conditions were dry, he could put a very hard spin on the ball. Let's estimate 10 revolutions a second. As a result of all those factors, Bernoulli, Magnus, Velocity, and an incompetent keeper, the ball bent about one meter in the direction of the spin and into the net. We should be blessed that we were alive when this goal was scored. Forget bend it like Beckham, it should be bend it like Carlos.